Hello, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with a name change. City Council members approved a new name for our Nature and Retreat Center. The new name is the Nature and Retreat Center at Oak Point Park. It was formerly called the Oak Point Park Nature and Retreat Center. The change was requested to clear up confusion with Oak Point Recreation Center just two miles away. It's not uncommon to have park visitors, facility renters, special event guests, and deliveries show up at the rec center rather than the Nature and Retreat Center. The opposite happens as well. People looking for the rec center show up at the Nature and Retreat Center. Our Parks and Recreation Department wants to hear from you as they update the park's master plan. A virtual community visioning session and survey is being conducted this month. As Plano grows, ages, and becomes more diverse, we need to address the changing needs for parks, recreation, and athletic programs, trails, connectivity, and open space. The draft update for the Park Master Plan is posted for your review and information at plano.gov slash parkmasterplan. This interactive site and survey will remain open through April 22nd. Caregivers now have a simple way to keep their baby or toddler nearby and safe while they use computers at Plano's Haggard Library. Thanks to a generous donation from HEB, two produce-themed workstations were recently installed, providing caregivers and their child a safe place for side-by-side -side activity. The workspaces, complete with engaging learning panels, allow small children to play in a secure and contained space while caregivers can utilize a computer for work, research, learning, and more. The child space includes a large mirror, activities for development of motor skills, and a peekaboo wall. The workstations are available on a first-come, first-served basis. The City of Plano Heritage Preservation Grant Program is now accepting applications. If your nonprofit group promotes heritage preservation, education, or tourism in Plano, you can apply. Since 2004, more than $13 million has been allocated to organizations providing heritage programming, tourism, advocacy, and restoration within Plano. Hotel motel tax revenue is the source of these grant funds, so projects must support the hospitality industry in Plano. The deadline to apply is May 1st. And congratulations to our amazing Volunteers in Plano, or VIP, program as they celebrate their 40th anniversary. Established in 1983, VIP sets the standard for municipal volunteerism. VIP serves the city by acting as the bridge between departments seeking volunteers and individuals who want to serve. Last year, more than 7,500 volunteers gave almost 68,000 hours of their time. That's a value of more than $2 million to our great city. For more information on how to volunteer, go to plano.gov slash VIP. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, plano.gov. We'll see you next week. Hi, Plano. Steve Stoller here. If you found this video interesting, be sure to subscribe by clicking here. This is Plano's official YouTube channel, and subscribing keeps you up to date. If you're interested in learning more about Plano, click here to watch more news from the city.